We're here with Jim McDonald, um, your writer, James Cowell, sure just right signed the back room. We'll when did all this uh, begin to happen? Even though they're not even fighting. Um, it's just been, I've sort of basically heard about it over the last couple of weeks, like different rooms circulating and that. And um, now it's been finalised, it's, um, it's, it's, it's all out there for the, for the media and everyone to uh, look forward to some great fights. Of course, uh, before this, James was with Hennessy fighting on uh, small shows, um, small halls, first fight under the matchroom banner, and he's fighting at Wembley Stadium. I mean, how much of a confidence is that to James? I think with James, um, it just seems that he's very bouncy. Um, I think it's probably giving him, you know, he's, he's always wanted the big stadium, the big lights, um, it's lit his mojo, he's excited, um, like a little kid waiting for a Christmas present. Uh, you know, he's, this is what he's about. He wants, he wants to be there, and um, you know, I think like all fighters, or even a footballer, like to play on a big stadium, like Wembley Stadium, in the final. It's obviously an exciting time. So, yeah, I, you know, I can just tell by his attitude and smile on his face, he is excited about the future. For yourself, Sanford James, was it quite disappointing that nothing really came to fruition under Tennessee? Uh, he was on those small shows at uh, the Globe, for example, in the Blue Water, and not really getting those big venues. Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he was slow burning, uh, always had his eye on the big prize, and um, I'm sure you know, he had his best endeavours uh, at heart and was looking for the for the right platform, the right route. In James, from James' perspective, you know, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, and you know, he's a, he's, he, he watches all the great fighters like Ray Leonard, Tommy Earns, and because of like, what he goes through with, like, with myself in, in preparation for fights, over there in front of 100 people, 1,000 people, 80,000 people, the training is very, very, very intensive. And sometimes we get sometimes more difficult to motivate him. And you know, he's, he's needed this, like, or a fight of this magnitude, or something like a pilot like where he can get his mojo, get it burning, get buzzing, whether it was with Mick, whether it was with Barry, whether it was with Frank, whoever, uh, Donkey, whoever, just to give me his mojo. And that's what me as his trainer, I don't know what goes on on the whereabouts of everything, but just look at him, he spied yesterday, and um, he's not unbelievable. So yeah, he's very, very excited. And of course, the fight is announced, uh, Brendan uh, Gonzalez. Um, how uh, has training been going for that fight? Uh, how long have you known that's going to be your opponent, etc.? Uh, Brendan Gonzalez's name was mentioned a time ago. Um, so yeah, so always uh, looking at the super weight division and who was there and thereabouts. And make no mistake, this kid's a very good fire. You know, he, um, he, he spars with Andre Ward. Um, he's got a good coach behind him as well. Um, He's got a lot of aspects that he brings to the table, you know. He's, he ain't in the final room with the IBF title because people like him. He's in it because he's a hell of a good fighter. And, you know, James has got to have his eye strictly on the next fight. Forget about what's going on with the Frotch and Groves talk, so on and so forth. That's, that's for another day. Right now, he's boxing the best fighter he's boxed so far as a professional. The kid's a real deal. And James has got to perform. And uh, that's why his mojo's got to be a light. And, uh, Go out there and deliver, but yeah, it ain't no given. It's a tough fight. And of course, you mentioned Fox Groves, and he can't really look too far ahead to the future, but he will face the winner of that if he wins the next fight. And he's already fought the uh, George Rose, that's the one he seems to want there, saying that up on the table today. From the last fight, what have you learnt from that last fight with George Groves, you and James? Um, basically, uh, you know, every, everything that happens in life happens for a reason. Um, you know, it was the decision was very disputed. Um, everyone's got a, a different opinion, um, but from James's perspective, it's just a case of James being James. Uh, he's improved a lot since that fight. He's come on a hell of a lot, and um, it's just a matter of his mindset being good, being chilled, and um, just going on and, and, and stepping to whoever he fights next, whether it's Frotch or George Groves. Um, we're both very confident that he'll be victorious. Oh, that's great, Jim. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure, absolute pleasure.